Hi, Hi Yarnabees! So, uh, like I was saying in my last video, I have a couple of videos that we're supposed to catch up on. Well, George is home briefly between jobs, so I figured I'd grab him and we can get this done. So we are doing the fall questions that Heather, the crochet witch, had tagged us on. <sighs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> George is going to say the question. I guess I'll read them. Okay, so the first question was, it says this or that, um, and it's apple cider or hot chocolate. You're going to go first. <laughs> if you're talking like the hot apple cider that people drink to warm up, um, not a fan. If we're talking about the apple cider that you put in the fridge and drink like a beer, I'd rather have that than the hot chocolate. So that's kind of how I qualify. But if it's the hot apple cider or hot chocolate because it's fall and it's cold, I would take the hot chocolate. Um, I'm not a fan of hot chocolate. Uh, and I can't drink apple cider because I have acid reflux disease. So it just kills my stomach so I can't have either one <laughs> okay um, I think this one's going to be easy for me to know what Sandy's going to say it's Thanksgiving or Halloween and in Sandy's case it's definitely Halloween um, Sandy is uh, Wiccan and uh, sometimes she's even like a real witch <laughs> um, and definitely Halloween is an important holiday for mm. her I used to like the traditional Thanksgiving when the kids would all come over and you do all that. But at this stage of our life, our kids don't do that. In fact, this particular Halloween or Halloween, this particular Thanksgiving, which is this weekend, we're not even going to have turkey or any of the normal Thanksgiving fixes. We're just going to do our own thing. So it's, it's kind of fizzled for us. When the day comes, the kids want to start coming over for it or have hopefully grandkids one day. Yes. Um, then yes, it'll probably be more of that. But for us in our lifestyle, uh, definitely Halloween. Although for me, Halloween being on the 31st, I usually end up working all day and I'm actually getting home when the kids are trick or treating. So I miss a lot of it, but anyway. Um, yeah, I, I like Halloween only because it's Samhain. Um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes in behind that. I don't, it, I'm not a fan of Halloween as in trick-or-treating, candy, all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm more symbolic. So the closer that I come to Halloween, the crazier I get. <laughs> and George can attest Yeah, to I this. need to go away for about four days. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this year in particular is very scary because the biggest full moon of the entire year is going to be on Halloween. So Sandy's going to be oh. frigging crazy. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be werewolves at, and they'll be at our house. Yeah. So um, yeah. I may go to my mom's. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do. Maybe <laughs> if one of the subscribers can put me up for a couple of days, that'd be okay. But yeah. Sandy last year went pretty seriously off the rails. Um, and to the, And she was just a complete <laughs> crazy <Yeah>. lady. And <laughs> I'm trying to be polite here. I was and then <laughs> um, afterwards, she was all usually when Sandy goes off the rails, about a, a month goes by and then she feels bad and then she apologizes. But um, she couldn't understand. She goes, I just don't know what's wrong with me. And I said, well, what time of year is it? And she kind of went, oh, yeah, because yeah, it's like, it's like a spawning salmon with her. When Halloween rolls around, she just so it's completely loopy. I don't know what it is. Leave in the comments below whether or not you're like that too. Because I don't know what it is. My emotions are just crazy. The veil between the worlds is is splitting open. And, you know, you can feel the spirits and everything. And I just, I, I lose my mind. Like I just absolutely, you'll probably see it in the video. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. The next question is, do you call this season autumn or fall? I've always called it fall. Fall. Yeah, I've never been on know, the whole autumn, autumn. Is autumn like a U.S. thing or is it? No, I don't think so. No? Okay. No. Um, next question is trick or treat. I don't really know how to answer that. Trick or um, treat. Treat, definitely. Yeah, probably treat, I guess. I don't like being tricked. No, <laughs> no, me either. Not at all. <laughs> Uh, then we have carve a pumpkin or eat pumpkin pie. Well, I definitely would eat the pumpkin, pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. I, um, I just finished. 
just had a couple pieces of pumpkin we pie. We just had some pumpkin pie. Yes. Yeah. No. Yes. I love my pumpkin pie. Like pumpkin pie. pie with whipped cream for sure. Yeah. Um, then the next one is Haunted House, Haunted Hayride, or Haunted Corn Maze. All of the above. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe the Haunted House. I've never really done the Haunted Hayride or Haunted Corn Maze thing. I don't think I'd like to be walking through a corn maze and having people come jumping out at me going, because I'd probably punch them or something. And then you got to go to jail. And oh, but yeah. uh, I, I've never been in a corn maze I like that. Corn maze is well, we have this. We it. have one here. There's quite a famous one here in in really? Cedar McNabb's corn maze, and the kids go in it all through. I don't know if they do a haunted thing, but they have the maze set up, and people go through there in the fall and stuff. It's oh, been don't tell Tia it's, that. It's man. been She'll here forever. It's been here forever. Oh. Yeah, and they do. Um, they have hay rides there, and they do ha a big Halloween thing every year for the kids. Oh, so. man. Oh, Tia and I yeah. would be so all over that. We are all about the horror films. Okay, now for the important question. Favorite Halloween candy? Oh, I know this one. What? Do not say candy corn. No. I hate candy corn. No, for me, whenever the kids would go trick-or-treating, of course, we always had to inspect the candy to make sure that it was okay and... Kids often notice that somehow they couldn't figure out all their peanut butter cups went missing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, my favorite is Reese's peanut butter cups. I think it's nature's perfect food. Um, it contains the four main ingredients that people need to survive, sugar, salt, starch, and fat. Um, <laughs> so put it all together, you get a Reese's peanut butter cup. So they're definitely not good for the, the waistline, but I really like them, so... That would be oh, my favorite. Mine is the classic Halloween candy. The toffees. The 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 um, what the, one, is the, the ones that are wrapped in the paper. Yeah, yeah. it's um, it's the toffees. Uh, molasses candies. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're the molasses candies. Oh my god, I could eat that by the bag. But you know, that's the funny thing is, like when I was growing up, nobody liked them. Like the kids would practically throw them away because they were just like, eh. I love it. Anything with molasses, though, I really love. So Our next question is, um, do you shop on Black Friday? No. Hell no. No. Not. You couldn't pay me to go out in that craziness. No. I don't even like to go to the mall with Sandy. No. Um, I only do it under extreme duress. And <laughs> one time she even took me to Ikea. I almost died. Never, <laughs> never again. You could... Taking a man to Ikea is the worst form of torture. Oh um, but yeah, no, Black Friday sales and all. We don't oh, do that. We don't do the Boxing Day, day stuff. No. We're all at, at a stage in our life now, and I've said this to Sandy. If we want something, we just friggin' go buy it. We don't need it to be a sale to buy something or, nice or, or some, getting something special on birthday or Christmas. If we want something, we just go get it. That's the joy of, of raising your kids, kicking them out of the damn house, and now you have money and you can do whatever the frig you want. That's so we don't. I don't do any I of that. Just, stuff. I hate the crowds. I hate all the crap that goes along with it. Yeah, it's no. like the crazy. I I watch the videos down in the states. I don't know how you guys deal with it all, but like people are hurting each other just to get a freaking sale. You know, people have died. Yeah, the funny thing is my ex-wife would go down with her friend every year to um, Seattle to do the whole Black Friday thing, and that was their big yearly getaway, and they oh. treated it like a military operation, and they hit all the different places, and they loved it, but not a friggin' chance. No, thank you. That was, that was usually the happiest four days of my marriage when she was away. <laughs> for uh, Anyway, enough of that. Um, okay, so the next one is... Uh, one thing you hate about the fall, or one thing you love, and one thing you hate. Well, fall is always my favorite time of year. Um, and a lot of it has to do with things like, um, um, it's the new television season. So if you're invested in uh, traditional TV series and network stuff would always start in the fall. After a summer of watching crappy reruns and whatever, fall was big for me because it was always the start of the rugby season. So for 30 years, um, rugby would always start in September. And my and my other biggest passion, of course, is I'm a f football fanatic. And mm. 
football season starts in fall, as Sandy knows. And how many days a week is football on, Sandy? Too many. Three. So Sunday is my day to sit in my chair and not crochet and watch football all day while Sandy crochets all day. Um, but so yeah, fall, that's the thing I love the most. I also, I like the fall weather. I like that, you know, right now it's pretty nice. We still get like 18, 20 degrees Celsius during the day here, which is, I guess, about 70 degrees uh, in uh, Fahrenheit. And then it cools down nice at night. So it's easy to sleep in the summer. Um, quite often it's still pretty warm at night and we sweat and stuff. It's really hard to sleep. So, um, that's what I like. Weather. Now, what I don't like about fall is that it gets dark really early. So I'm not, a, I don't like it when I, um, I leave in the morning and it's dark to go to my first job and I get home in the dark. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't like uh, driving around trying to find addresses in the pitch black and shining my spotlight around it. And so for work wise that's that's what i don't like about the fall as the days get shorter it gets dark really early soon yeah. the clocks are going to change we're going to start uh, you know it's going to be that getting dark by five or six o'clock thing and it already yeah. is like that yeah that's yeah. that's probably the one thing that i don't like about the fall um i'm a spring and summer person so i don't like fall and winter at all uh so as soon as fall hits i get really depressed um i have that whole seasonal depression thing so um as this soon as is the is a crochet away, disorder <laughs> um i as soon as the the it starts getting dark and the, the weather starts to turn it's like i just start to shrivel up i just well it can like, be depressing here too on the island when it when we get several days in a row of rain and it's mm -hmm. just raining raining gray and raining raining and it's cool and so that can definitely bring people down we have a huge amount of our population on the island of old farts that basically bugger off to the U.S., to Arizona and stuff in the summer. And they do the snowbird thing. That's a big thing here. Although, quite honestly, it, it doesn't, we don't normally get a lot of snow. It's really not that bad, but yeah. it can be. But when it does snow, it can get boy, depressing get and dreary when it's just rain. We had a, quite a rainstorm yesterday and right away mm -hmm. you're thinking, holy smokes, winter's here. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah. Winter. Yeah, winter is coming. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, favorite fall accessory? I don't even know how to answer that because I don't accessorize anything. <laughs> oh, Sandy gave me a wrist thing. That's my accessory. Yeah. Um, uh, favorite fall accessory? Well, obviously in Sandy's case, it's got to be her crochet hats and her scarves because that's when she starts to no, wear... No, it's not. No? It's my pajama pants. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Yes, you will now be I wearing. I finally get to wear pajamas, and they're pants. on her right now, yes, but you can't shoes. see. And we're actually holding hands under the table, in case you guys are wondering, because um, we love each other. Oh, I uh, yeah. Anyway, so sure. yeah, I guess that's right. She loves those damn pajama pants. Yeah. And every, in our part year. of the world, people actually wear them outside yeah. <laughs> to the store and to the bank. You got all these these women and guys wearing pajama pants yeah. that's not my thing but yeah but as soon um, as the cold weather starts it's like pajama pants on <laughs> well here's a here's a good one favorite halloween movie oh we were just talking about this yeah um i don't know we we like a lot of sandy and i both like horror movies quite a lot um i Since tend to when do you like horror movies i like them but i only like them if they're if they're original or clever, I don't like the same old, same old. Um, he likes like, the likes the psychological thrillers. Yeah, like the, like a lot of people like the Halloween with Michael Myers. That never really did much for me. I enjoyed uh, one of the movies I really well, obviously The Exorcist, everybody's favorite horror movie of all time. But the first Nightmare on Elm Street movie, when I watched that. I was really blown away. I thought, what a, that was such a clever original uh, character and the fact that he could get you in your dreams and all of that. That one was really good. The other movie that I really liked the first time I saw it, I think it's the absolute perfect horror movie and it all takes place more or less just in one room is the first Saw oh, movie. Yeah. The first Saw movie is absolutely brilliant. Whoever wrote that is a friggin' genius. I mean, it got to be a little crazy at the end. They kept making them, and basically the only part that was interesting was the creative and cool ways that he was killing the people. But the thought, 
to find out that the guy was lying there the whole time that they were in the room and that's a movie that could very easily be made into a, a really good play on Broadway or something that you could have it in a theater and you'd be able to make that work. So yeah. that's a movie that I, when I saw that, I thought well, that was really clever and that then the twist and the whole twist of, the, yeah. of that like was like a holy shit moment. And what was that other um, one that I, I bought you the video of it? Um, not splice. Um, the guy who, oh, he turned into the monster. The oh, um, um, Split. Split. Split's yeah. not, it's not really a Halloween movie. It's, <laughs> but if you've ever seen the movie Split with James McAvoy, um, how that guy did not win the Academy Award, mm -hmm. it's an absolute joke. He plays like 20 different personalities and yeah, really just good. the acting in his face, you can see him turning into somebody else and the voices and everything else. I really recommend, uh, if you haven't seen the movie Split, that's another one that's yeah. clever and, and incredible. In order for it to work for me, the acting has to be good and his acting was spot on there. Yeah. But I'm not a big fan of the traditional slasher blood and guts we're going to kill the teenagers <laughs> and that's sandy and tia's thing they yeah. watch those things all day long oh yeah i don't think there's uh there's one that they haven't seen mm -hmm. i also like um uh really really well done vampire movies the particular vampire genre for me i've always really been attracted to the bram whole vampire Stoker's thing kinda... like the bram stoker dracula was original as it was originally done was really good um what else? I don't know. I'm just all slasher kind of. Yeah. 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 I, I like the ones that are a little more, a little more like creative the, the and grunge, a little more original. The grudge. Yeah. The grudge you know, was really uh, good with the crazy Japanese. Eh, that, that, oh, yeah. that, that was good. You know, you know, <laughs> you know, what was it? Seven days yeah. when you watch the video, that one was good. Like the yeah. ones that are different, that are unique, that are original. What I hate is that there's nothing original in Hollywood anymore. They just yeah. remake old movies that I've already seen because I'm old. So <laughs> it doesn't work for me. Um, I guess our last question is, what are we dressing up for as Halloween this year? I'm going to dress up as a carpetologist because <laughs> I'll be working like I always am. So we normally don't go to Halloween parties. No. Um, it's been a, I couldn't tell you the last time I've been to a Halloween party where we, we dressed in costumes. Yeah. Um, so we've we, never done it together. We've no. never gone to a Halloween party together where we've no. dressed up. So, uh, you're going to have to wait for mine because I'll probably be doing a video. Sandy usually it. like, she'll dress up as a witch when, when the kids are trick or treating and stuff like that. She'll get into a little bit more. I just like to get home before it's all over. The shitty thing is, is most Halloweens, by the time I get home, it's, you know, seven o'clock, seven, eight o'clock, and it's all, I've missed everything. But you're, you're not missing much because nowadays there isn't, there isn't very many kids. Well, we, we get, live in an area like where there's five. not a lot of kids, so. Yeah. We, yeah. It seems like Halloween is kind of going by the wayside um, because of all the people that are so paranoid that their kids are going to get a razor blade and their candy or whatever. So now they're taking their kids to the mall, you know. Well, the other thing is, really I mean, sad. bullies go out and pick on the kids and yeah. steal their candy and yeah. you get a little bit of that. And what I really hate about Halloween is the stupid fireworks. Yeah. Like, I don't mind to see a good firework display, but people shooting them off at all hours of the night and stuff. It's just yeah. really bloody annoying. And the, the dog certainly doesn't like it. The cat doesn't like it. So yeah, the cat hides for days. I <laughs> would very much like if they didn't sell fireworks um, yeah. at Halloween, but people do. There's a lot of money to be made, so people yeah. do. So, yeah. um, And I guess, guys, that's we've run out of it. So, it. Um, so there you go. <laughs> hopefully we answered the questions, I guess. We're getting to sort of be in the old fuddy duddy stage oh. um, where we don't do much. Like we, we love to just, you know, I, I work hard all day. I come home and nothing makes me happier than to just cuddle up with Sandy and, and she'll be crocheting and I'll be watching TV and we'll hold hands and we'll look over at each other. Oh, I love you. Love he you. doesn't really mean cuddle that. up. He, it, we sit in chairs that are beside each other that 
That's about But it. Sandy will crochet and every once in a while she'll put her hand over for me to do do the thing and whatever and <laughs> yeah, massage. I'm like, yeah, tickle yeah, me. yeah, and tickle her or <laughs> massage the crochet thumb to keep her working or or whatever. Oh, and the latest thing is the tickle the foot thing. She yeah. she sticks her leg over with the foot's up like this and and then I gotta do the tickle the foot thing while she goes <laughs> If you hit the spot just right, and she's especially sensitive, she does the whole <laughs> It's actually really quite funny. <laughs> yeah, the, Anyways. Yeah, yeah, you got to see that. She's just, it's, it's hilarious, so. Oh, anyway. Okay, guys, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. So we got, ours is done. I don't know who's, yeah, who's uh, next on the list for doing this. Tag, but uh, because I don't know. Let's see, Lisa did hers. Um... Rosalie, Rosalie and her husband. I don't know. Sandy from left is right didn't do it. Did she? I, I don't know. think she so. Didn't. Sandy. Sandy Duda. Guess what? Tag. It's your turn to do this thing. Duda. <laughs> Duda. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting away without doing it. Oh, the Duda day. Get your ass on video. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Da, 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 da. Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going. Bye, go. everybody. <laughs> Bye.